In this video, we're going to be comparing two popular website building platforms, Framer and WordPress. I'm going to be discussing the various pros and cons of each platform. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one best suits your needs. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about Framer. Framer is an extremely powerful tool renowned for its design first approach and website building capability. It's perfect for users that want to create visually stunning and custom websites with a strong emphasis on interactivity and animations. If you're a designer or creative professional and want full control of your website, Framer is the perfect platform for you. Further, Framer supports responsive design, ensuring that your website looks great, whether it's being accessed from a laptop, tablet, or mobile phone. With Framer, you also have access to hundreds of free and fully custom website templates that you can quickly use to create a website for your business or brand. To get started with Framer, go ahead and click the link in the description below, and it should take you to a landing page that looks something like this. In this landing page, Framer has made it super easy to get an account up and ready. Go ahead and press sign up for free. You'll be taken to another landing page where you can either use your Google authentication or an email address. Once you've input your email address, you'll be sent an activation link where you can create and confirm your password. From there, you'll be sent to your Framer dashboard where you can go ahead and start creating a website. Now let's talk about WordPress. WordPress is one of the most popular and versatile website creation platforms and has been around since 2003. Known for its robust content management system, WordPress is a perfect platform for anyone who wants to start a blog, a news site, or a content heavy web page. It has an extensive library of themes and plugins, providing tools for SEO, e-commerce, security, social media, and much more. So this makes it a great choice, whether you're a beginner or seasoned developer to create a fully functional website that's scalable. WordPress is also extremely flexible due to its open source nature, which allows you to add custom code. In fact, over 40% of all websites on the web use Framer because of how versatile and functional it is. Getting started with WordPress is extremely simple, but first you'll need a web host to host your website. We recommend Hostinger for its affordability and user-friendly features. We even have a special discount code so you can save even more money. So go ahead and click the link in the description below and it should take you to a landing page that looks like this. From this planning page, go ahead and press claim deal. You'll be presented with three plans, the premium, business, and cloud startup. For most people watching this, the premium plan is more than enough. So go ahead and choose that plan. Here you get to choose between what term you'd like to sign up for. You've got a choice between one month, 12 months, 24 months, or 48 months. Let's go ahead and pick the 12 month deal. Here you can go ahead and just simply create an account and down here in the payment section, be sure to use the code MYFIRSTWEBSITE for an additional discount. As you can see, you get 12 months of hosting, a domain name, setup, and domain privacy protection for only $35.52, which is just insane value. You also get 30 days money back guarantee if you're unhappy with the service. So be sure to use the link in the description as well as the coupon code MYFIRSTWEBSITE. Now let's compare Framer and WordPress across several different areas. Framer is more intuitive for those with a design background with its simple drag and drop solution. It offers more customizable options for visual and interactive design. However, this does come with a steep learning curve if you're unfamiliar with design platforms. WordPress is beginner friendly, but it also does cater for advanced users as well. With its visual editor and plenty of online resources, plugins and themes, anyone can get started, but it also does cater for the more advanced people who want to get into more customizations. If design flexibility is your top priority, Framer is extremely hard to beat. It really does offer pixel perfect design for anyone who wants to create a unique and customizable website. WordPress also does provide extensive customization. However, you need to use plugins and themes and it is a bit more structured compared to Framer. When it comes to SEO and content management, WordPress has a clear edge. It has many built-in SEO tools and plugins like Yoast SEO or Rank Maths, which really helps your website optimize for organic traffic online. Framer is capable of handling SEO because of how customizable Framer is. It does allow you to optimize it for the search engine. However, it does require some work. E-commerce is another area where these platforms differ quite a bit. WordPress actually offers a comprehensive and integrated plugin called WooCommerce, which helps beginners really simply set up and start their online store. Within WooCommerce, you can manage your products, process payments, and handle your shipping all within the platform. Framer can support e-commerce through external integrations through Shopify. And the benefit there is that you can actually create a fully customizable shop front. Let's talk about pricing. Both Framer and WordPress offer different pricing plans that cater to different users. Framer Framer offers a basic free plan and a paid plan starting at just $5 a month. Its pricing is more suited for users who want extreme customization and design features. WordPress being open source is actually free to use. However, you'll need to pay for web hosting and any plugins that meet your requirements. Because of this, it can range from a few dollars a month to more expensive pricing plans. Be sure to use the code MYFIRSTWEBSITE and the link in the description below to save even more money when setting up your WordPress website. So which platform should you choose? If you're a designer or creative that values customization, 
foundation and creating a unique website, Frema is the perfect pick for you. If you're looking for a platform that's versatile, scalable, and perfect for managing all your content, then WordPress might be a better way to go. In the end, choosing between Frema and WordPress does depend on what you're looking for and your specific needs. Both platforms have their specific strengths, so consider what's important for you when building your website. If you're ready to get started with either Framer or WordPress, be sure to check out the links in the description below for an exclusive discount. I hope you found this video helpful. Here at My First Website, we like creating videos about website design and development, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.